Welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. Hello, com coming back in. I send you great love. Thank you for returning. This is a reading for my um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus today. We're going to take a look at your current love energies and messages for you. I have all new batches of sacred um, auric clear, sacred holy mist. This is designed, um, well, what the bottle says is formulated with the special ingredients by a Reiki master to assist, I can hardly read today, to assist in your healing practice, a formula of proven essential oils and pure in a combination of sacred, oh my eyes are so bad, sacred scents, and of course they are sacred, Palo Santo, Nakchampa, a sea salt, these are all protection things, but they're also something beautiful was put in this mix so that once you clear negative energies and work your crown chakra and your hands, what happens is you find yourself in a more angelic light tone because of the other ingredient that's assisted in this. It's divine, beautiful, and sacred. And these are available on my website. This is called Auric Clear Sacred Holy Mist. It's not the only thing I make, but Capricorn, I sanctify your space. I sanctify my energy to bring you a reading. Let's take a look. I'm gonna do a quick sound healing for you. Right now, uh, I've meditated by the way, so I want you to know that I'm ready to do your reading. This is for my Capricorns. I thank you for their presence in my world and their power and who they are. I like the fact that they continue growing, that they continue bringing love even under hardship, that they continue to have high principles and good standards. Unfortunately, some don't, but that happens with all. Capricorns, forgive yourself for your mistakes. Get strong, change things, love yourself, love others. Be the highest form you can because the angels are right here to help you and assist you in your love patterns. That's what they want me to say. Thank you, ancestors, guides, Holy Spirit. I have to. The air is really, really, really frisky with energy and desires and anger and pain and healing and ascension and hope and faith and love. It's all over us. And we have to choose what kind of auric energies we want. What do we want in our life to happen? And how can we get there faster? Is what we want aligned with the Holy Spirit, with the divine sacred uh, of all things what does it matter what you believe this is for all of you okay it is a message for you i love you capricorn thank you for your kindness for your readings i've done which are really cool i got to know a lot of you personally you're super wonderful Hello. it's amazing i love your energy um capricorn you know Let's see where love goes for you. I'm going to pull a card. This is Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed and I love her. She's amazing, amazing, amazing. I hope you have checked in with her. She makes many high advanced intellectual decks that deal with real life. Okay? I'm so proud to be able to use her decks. Okay? Thank you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to find out what the messages are for you between now and whenever. <laughs> I feel like the minute you tap into this reading, you're into the message for you. So stick around and watch. Thank you for your love. Okay. So this is going to be your message. This is going to be where your significant other is. And this will be the energy between you. All right. All intuitively drawn. All lovingly organized. Thank you. Everything is about intention, by the way. And let me tell you where intention really starts, Capricorn. Babies. It's always in the heart. Not 
the head remember i said that ok now i'm going to get a message is about the energies you're dealing with ok these are like directional cards these are energy force fields that you might be dealing with this is for the collective of capricorn someone rising venus i would like you to tap me in accurately as much as you can holy spirit i need to speak to them because they have beautiful hearts and they have been broken and they need repaired there you go that's yours let me have the significant other you're dealing with in your love life right now. And then the circumstantial energy between you. They gave it to you, babes. Aren't those beautiful cards? These were a gift to me by Divinely Empowered um, Love. Please look her channel up, Divinely Empowered Love. She's a Sagittarian and she's an amazing reader, tender hearted been through a lot, has faith in love, faith in people. It's just awesome. She just brings the best stuff. And here you go. I'm going to give you a heal yourself card with this particular reading. We're going to take a look at this psychic and the emotional energies that you two bring to the table. This will be yours. And let me have the other person. All right. They're really laying them out for you guys. Okay. All right, loves. Unlike the other signs, I'm going to give you a universal perspective from the sacred geometry activation cards. I know who you are. Thank you. Love you. Here we go. Let me have a focus for my, my Capricorns, please. Transition. Going through changes. Allowing things to take place. There's a frequency you're in the middle of. Um... It's helping you to learn to let go, to learn to surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. So the Spirit says to me, remind them, ease and grace. Grace is a gift from the divine by the sacrifices of love that you make because it puts back into the universe your intention to love and receive love back. So it's there waiting for you to claim. You know, you're going through it. So all you have to do is just be humble, flow with it, and allow. It's not easy. It never really is. But that's the way things are. Before we go into that, let us take a look at your tarot. Oops, excuse me. Capricorn. Wow. I'm not taking that one. Capricorn. Capricorn, someone rising Venus. Sometimes that works. My nerves are a little weird today because I've been on a lot of... Um, a lot of med well, not a lot of medicines. I'm very natural. These aren't shuffling right. Uh, Capricorn. Back, uh, I had bacterial um, sin sinusitis really bad. It's almost gone, completely gone. But um, I've been dealing with that, and it makes me kind of weird and shifty. But I am tapped into the Holy Ghost, so don't worry. Here we go. Capricorn, you're showing up as the Two of Wands. In reverse you don't want to make this decision do you <clears throat> this is about relationships going forward making a choice between your path and another your will and the universe as well but you're grounded people so you're trying to not make a decision right now is what I hear and when it comes to love. Tell me about that decision. Yeah, you're not sure. You haven't seen something you need to see to make a final, a final decision or a final cut on something. You haven't quite seen it yet. Maybe you're not seeing the path of this particular um, journey here. Tell me why they've got the Two of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. It could be that you're heart is preventing you um you are very very this is a water energy this is from the heart emotions your your emotions have you grounded you're empathetic and you're kind and you're you're looking this is a fem, this is a female energy who's looking at how to make this transition she's going through in love and her understanding of love and where she's going with love and yet she's still waiting for that one awakening of the mind, you realize when I started your reading, 
we were talking about coming from the heart and not the mind. But you're going to need to make a, cho a choice. Explain to me what she's up with. Wow. You got two twos here. Twos represent finances. They represent balance. They represent options. They represent um, commitment to something. They represent a choice. You are the one that's, that's trying to avoid this choice. There's two of coins here. I can see that in reverse. This is juggling and keeping the balance in a relationship and something solid. Like I got two relationships to choose from and it, the water is splashing at his feet. This is a storm, a storm above his head. You're trying to avoid a storm. I think you're keeping peace for the sake of keeping peace right now. This is the Virgo card of take pulling back, seeking the answer you're looking for in love, right? This, this hermit is looking for his, what, what is it I need to know about this, right? Pulling back, kind of hermiting, pulling back, getting wisdom. You got the cosmics behind this hermit. Everything's available to you. If you want the truth, you have to admit how you feel. That's why you got the Queen of, Cup, uh, Queen of Cups here. If you want the truth and you need to make a, de a balanced decision, which doesn't seem to be being made now, you have to admit and you have to pull back get wise and get the friggin absolute truth to what it is that's making you tick or holding you back. Thank you, spirit. Now tell me about the other person. The other person is um, not someone in your life. Let me just take these two like the three of swords. Verbal, spiritual, mental. Give me a second. Uh, this is the energy of um, someone who's ex been extremely hurt by someone not making a commitment, someone not being there for them, someone uh, holding back their coin or holding back their energy. You have someone who's gotten over that. They're used to that now. That's someone in your life. Who is? Who do you know that you're not making a decision on that is sitting here like this? What are they waiting for? There's, they feel like they're in jail with you. I can't do anything, really, with what I have. They're not telling me the truth. This is telling the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. But if someone's pulled back and they're not speaking, someone's completely withdrawn, um, this person feels like, oh, my God, I don't know whether I should come forward with an offer. I don't know how to. I can't. I feel, I feel bound and gagged here. I can't see anything. Why? King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person. I have a big heart. I really come from the heart, and this is someone I know. This is actually my my love, my other. This is my this is a, a a sacred pair, the King and Queen of Cups. This is a heart space that matches, but you have mental conflict with this person. What do they intend? They don't want to come forward with anything right now because they're tired of being in jail feeling. They're tired of their heart being in bondage to something. I'm just giving it to you straight. I don't know who this is, guys, because it could play from anybody's perspective. But the Ace of Wands is making a new start and coming forward with energy, uh, maybe even with a sexual organ, you know, like to have sex with you or something, but, and share their passion, but not now. They're holding back. They feel like you've got them at bay. Maybe they put themselves at bay. Temperance. They know that if you, they're holding their temper, but they know that, double temperance. They know what's going to happen if things don't change. Tell me more. Three of coins. Intervention of another party. A breakup of something solid. Something not going forward, not building. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Even after seven years of knowing each other, possibly just absolutely going nowhere. And they can't, they wanted to build, but either you or they in this relationship were keeping secrets. Uh, taking what you could get at the time, it could be this one. The, you put them in time out. They're hurt. They're getting over the pain. Seven of Swords and Seven of... This is someone you knew, but they were sneaky. They were manipulative. They were doing something. Um, 
that was making you unsure about making a decision about them. And at this point, you're going to keep your heart good and you're going to keep your soul good. You are the, the wise queen of, of hearts. This person has spent many, many events um, not relating to you and then not telling you everything or maybe being a little deceptive. Okay, so that's that energy. Let me take a look at new love coming for you guys. Let me use another deck. Capricorn, Someone, Rising, Venus. Capricorn. Wow. Four of Wands. If you work this right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is a happy home. This is a celebration. This is joy, Capricorn. This is balance that's coming towards you. Wow. You see I'm popping out? This is happiness and re uh, regeneration of a happy time, a happy situation, celebrating with friends, loved ones. Tell me more, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and, uh-oh, Knight of Swords. Moving quickly to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person will speak their mind very bluntly to you. Tell me what their intention is then. Queen of Cups, you. Their intention is to get your heart. They want your heart. You're showing up here as imagining in this space here. You're imagining what it is that you need to do and what your life could actually be like um, in the fullness of yourself, which is what you really deserve, right? Okay? You're imagining that. Your partner, however, is soulmate in reverse. And they could be a soulmate. They could be trying to regain your, their love with you. There's something wrong with the soulmate happening in your relationship. And the energy between you is regeneration. So it's very good that you take your time to figure out how to regenerate a soulmate relationship so both of you can be in your hearts. You're being affected by strategy. You're trying to figure out how to go forward and make something either move forward and a cycle and a new one begin. Your partner is being affected by door to value. They feel unvalued. They feel un unrecognized, they feel like you're ignoring them, not talking to them, then the energy between you is again 20, this is the world card. This is um, endings and beginnings with you, okay? And it is a strategically shifting a pattern and a behavior and everything for a soulmate because it's worth saving, Spirit says, for bonds, all right? What you need to heal sexuality something about your sexuality this person was always turned on and they never told you everything but they wanted you so badly and number four four of wands queen of cups lovely lovely it's an issue with you and with them it's about discovering their life purpose they might have thought it was you during this transition romance angels what do you show for my beautiful capricorns at this time Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus. When you see this video, you're meant to see this video. If you love me, show me. New love. Look, you got new love, some of you. Wow. Get yourself together with that Queen of Cups. And very soon. Very nice. Let me see what this says. I'm going to give you two, two more cards and then we're done. Capricorn, Sun, Rising, and Venus, Soulmate Manifestation. Everything you need, your courage, your strength, your compassion, and love, Everything you need is already in you, Queen of Cups energy. You know that too, Bays. Let's see who's guiding you, Ascended Master. Who's influencing this transition? White Tara, pureness, honesty, spiritual purification, relationships open, communicating, everyone understanding the transition, working on the, the, the language, the connection, the love, all of that. It's very imminent in this situation for you. Who is guiding my loves spiritually? Keeper of light. Guiding my Capricorns. Soul flame. You are following your truth. You are imagining what it's like to have exactly what you want. And you're learning to transition into it. Um, rediscover a lost part of yourself, Capricorn. You are experiencing relationship harmony and healing. It's coming together. Uh, one more card from me. This is my deck. The person that you are have dealt with, this soulmate over here, door to value, discovering a life purpose, right? 
What are they? What is on their mind that they never tell you? Why did you have the Seven of Swords? They never told you. I'm not a sincere person. I just want your energy. There's your agenda for them. I really like you, but I need to take my time. Your eyes are sad, and I, I will help you heal if you let me. Do you believe it? This may be your new love. This one here, Seven of Swords, I slept with your best friend. That's confessions. This one here is coming in. This new love is coming in for you because you're purifying their energy out of your space, soulmate or not. You're just trying to figure out how. I wish you love, and I'm going to leave it here. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much, Capricorn. You are my booze, and I am doing private readings if you need one. Uh, any kind you need. RobinsRealmReadings.net. Look in the box below. Get yourself some of this auric clear, please. Love you. Namaste. Bye.